guys, I'm so excited. We made it to the end of the 12 Days of Christmas Readathon. We are now on our very last book. And book number 12 is Grumpy Badger's Christmas. I hope you enjoy our last book. It was almost Christmas and the forest was a flurry of activity. The animals were bustling here and there, putting up the Christmas tree, wrapping presents, making tasty cakes and cookies, while the young ones scampered about, squeaking with excitement. Everybody was looking forward to Christmas. Well, almost everybody. Grumpy Badger looked out of his window and scowled. Merry Christmas, shouted Squirrel. Merry Christmas, bah, he shouted back. What piffle! I am a sensible creature and I sleep all through the cold winter. Now I'm going to bed until the spring and if anyone wakes me, I shall be very, very grumpy. And with that, he pulled his window shut with a clunk. Grumpy Badger knew he would be hungry when he woke, so he checked his pantry. There were pies and pastries, hams and cheeses, crisp crackers, jars of fruit, and sticky sweet jams. That should do, he said. Then he filled his hot water bottle and climbed into bed. He had just closed his eyes when there was a knock at the door. Knock, knock, knock. It was Mole. M -m -m -m. Merry Christmas, Mr. Badger, he said timidly. I'm sorry to bother you. I've been trying to put lights on the Christmas tree, but it's just too big. Could I please borrow your ladder? Christmas tree? spluttered Grumpy Badger. Pifle and double pifle. Christmas is for sleeping and that's what I'm trying to do. And he closed the door with a bang. Bah! huffed Grumpy Badger, climbing into bed. Borrow my ladder indeed. All I want is a bit of peace and quiet, so leave me alone. He peeked under his bed where he put more food for springtime. Candies and cornbread and cherry cupcakes. Then he cuddled deep into his big warm comforter. He was just starting to snore when there was another knock at the door. Knock, knock, knock. This time it was Squirrel. Hello, Badger, he said cheerfully. I've brought you a Christmas present. Christmas present, snorted Grumpy Badger. Pifle and triple pifle. I don't like presents and I don't like Christmas. All I want is a little peace and he shut the door with a crash. Now Grumpy Badger was really grumpy. To cheer himself up, he thought about the bottles and bottles of homemade lemonade he had in the cellar. Then he laid down and closed his eyes, but he couldn't sleep. His head felt a little chilly. Suddenly, there was a loud banging at the door. Bang, bang, bang. Oh, what is it now? Grumpy Badger sighed. He was about as tired and grumpy as a badger can be. Oh, badger, panted Rabbit. Help, it's poor Mole. He's stuck at the top of the Christmas tree. Come quickly. Pifle, shouted Grumpy Badger. And triple Pifle on top of that. Why can't everyone just leave me alone? And he slammed the door so hard that the whole house shook. Slam. At long last, Grumpy Badger fell asleep. But soon he was tossing and turning and wriggling and squirming. He was dreaming of Mole dangling by one tiny paw from the top of an enormous Christmas tree. Mole was trembling. Mole was about to fall. No! screamed Grumpy Badger sitting bolt upright and suddenly wide awake. What have I done? He jumped out of bed, grabbed his ladder and dashed into the street. Grumpy Badger raced up to the Christmas tree. Hold on, Mole, he cried. He scrambled up the ladder and scooped Mole gently into his arms, then helped him down to the ground. I'm sorry I left you hanging, mumbled Grumpy Badger. I suppose I've been a bit of a grump. That's okay, said Squirrel. And he gave Badger back his Christmas present, a soft, fluffy knit cap. I've been so grouchy, said Grumpy Bear. What can I do to make things better? And then he knew.
Badger's Christmas party was the best ever. There were pies and pastries, cheeses and hams, and sticky sweet jams, cookies and cupcakes, and bottles and bottles of homemade lemonade. They jiggled and jived and joked and laughed late into the night. Merry Christmas, everybody, Badger cried. And if you don't all come to my party next year, I shall be very grumpy indeed. The end. Well, boys and girls, that is it. We are done with our 12 days of Christmas readathon. Do you know what that means? It means that it's Christmas! Merry Christmas, everybody. Enjoy your happy holiday. 